Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Now in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how you can do a green screen or a chroma key uh, TV in Fortnite. Now I've done this in one of my montages and so I've been requested from a couple of people to do a tutorial on this and how I did it in Filmora 9. With that being said, let me show you how you do it. Alright, so we're in the replay mode right now. As you can see, I have the- Okay, before I show you how to do the whole cinematics, you should actually place your TV in a really greener area because the map that I'm using is really purple and it does not work out well later in the future of this video. And uh, yeah, so please place it in a greener area for it to work out well. TV all set up. I'm not really gonna show you how to do that. I don't think it's kind of simple how you do it, so I don't think I need to really explain that. And uh, yeah, so with that being said, let's go over to my controller. If you don't know, controller is obviously uh, the best way to record cinematics. If you don't know that, uh, then you should, because <laughs> it is. And uh, yeah, all right, so we're gonna film the cinematic right now. I'm kind of just gonna go straight up to it. Nothing really special, kind of just do that, basically. Uh, kind of at a weird angle, so it's kind of like, I can't go straight up because it looks weird, I guess you could say, and, uh, yeah, so. Alright, so I'm actually going to do a time lapse of me making these, uh, but I am going to kind of tell you what you kind of should do for these cinematics. You kind of want to take your time, you know, you don't really want to speed it up, I guess you can say. Now, at certain points, yes, you may want to get it done fast but mostly you want to take your time that's kind of actually million posted a video on how he kind of does it and he even does it really slow i mean extremely slow like he does it slower than i usually do them um so definitely take your time because obviously they work out if million does it like that so that being said take it back past zedman okay i know i just said zedman but don't say zedman because it's not zedman it's z-man so you people don't call me zedman it hurts my feelings man i don't like it okay well i think that's what we're gonna be doing uh these aren't insanely good i wasn't really trying to put these in an actual montage uh if i was putting them in a montage i would uh try and probably take so much time on them usually for cinematics i take at least around 30 minutes uh, for, or, like, to probably take, like, I, I don't know, take, like, 20 tries, 10 tries at each cinematic, uh, or whatever kill or elimination that I'm going on, and, uh, yeah, so let's go over to the editing. Alright, guys, I'm in Fillmore 9 right now. I'm gonna show you how you can do the whole chroma key and all that thing to, I guess, transition into your clip. That being said, let's get right into it. So, basically, even though this was definitely not the best, as you can see, I actually am having to use this because, um, well, it works best, uh, for the whole chroma key thing, which sucks, but it's true. So, basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it down to right about here, and we are going to actually, uh, hit this little crop thing, go to pan, zoom, and we're going to go to the end. And make it where it looks like the whole TV screen almost. But we don't really want the background in there. So. Yeah, like that. And now we're going to put a freeze frame. Right about. Here. Now we're going to freeze frame it. It'll be like that. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to drag this clip right here. And we're going to trim it down to where I think it should start. Which is right about there. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go over to where this freeze frame starts. And we're going to put the clip right, right there at the start of it. And now... We do the magic, which is the chroma key part. Essentially, we turn on chroma key, and we are going to. Well, let's see if the green works. Is usually the work. I don't know. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the best place, I guess you could say, for uh, this whole thing to work. See, that's kind of what we want, but we don't want it to be right there. Or actually, that is what we want. I just realized we haven't done exactly what we're supposed to do, which actually is we're going to cut it off right at the freeze frame. Or right at the end of the whole cinematic. And now 
what we're gonna do is we're actually going to crop it or we're gonna yeah we're gonna crop it to right around here there we go and now we're gonna put that under and see how that looks like there we go see but as you can tell there is a little part right here but we can try and fix that maybe make it where it's not all the way up like that and it'll be just in the center and let's see how that looks and as you can see it's a little laggy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna render the preview and essentially what that does is make it where there's a smooth playback all right so let's see what this looks like as you can see it looks really dark around which, okay, this is why I'm telling you guys you should film it in a greener area because since I put the uh, chroma key color on a purplish color or purplish darkish color, it will make everything around it uh, that's purple extremely like just no color at all. So that's why you want to film it in a greener area. It's really annoying, but let's see what we can do about that. Okay, see, I can't really do anything about this. All I can say is that you're gonna have to film uh, the cinematic better, which, by the way, making it where it goes up closest, or like where it's like literally right on it is the best way to uh, film them. Uh, but I'm sorry, that this isn't, doesn't look that well. Trust me, if you do it right and you go up close to it and then you freeze frame it, it will look way better. And you don't even have to freeze frame it if you uh, do it right. Um, so, just do it that much better. I mean, I, God, I wish I could show you guys how I could do it, but like, I gotta get this video out really soon. So if you want me to make an update video on this, or if you have any more questions about this, then make sure you like, you know, I guess message me. And essentially, as you can see, it doesn't look that well whenever going into the clip. So what we're actually gonna be doing is we're gonna add in a little transition and we're going to do, I think maybe this one. Let's see how that looks. Well, first, let's render the preview so it'll look better. There we go. So let's watch this whole thing through into the black background at the beginning of the clip or beginning of the pan zoom. And there's nothing really you can do about it, sadly, but all I can say is film it better. Although I didn't film them that well or film this that well, you can film it better. I mean, all you have to do is really actually get up close to the thing, and then you won't even have to freeze frame it really, and it will be perfect, trust me. Or what you can do is you can actually film this in a lot more brighter and greener area, because in this, actually, the chroma key is kind of like around a purple uh, color, so that's why the purple is a lot more darker than normal. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. I'm sorry that it wasn't that well made i guess because of the whole me not being in a actual greener area all i can say is whenever you film these please be in a greener area it will actually help and it won't be as dark so with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one peace i know that we got it i might even guarantee it when she tied me up and turned me right into a pair of pleasing pair of shoes i got the nba on them make you stare and see them we ain't paying for them now you ought to know i'm wearing free ones when you go to me i gotta know is there a reason it was so proper